This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 2835. I'm your host, Jeff Alton, the Day Game Hunter, and welcome to Monday Morning. And I've got a show today. Uh, lately, what I've been doing with No BS Job Search Advice Radio is using questions that have been sent to me and answering them as the framework for the show. Now, I do this on Tuesdays live during Career Coach Office Hours on LinkedIn, on uh, YouTube, and lately it's been on X. Uh, So you can catch the show on any of those platforms live, and you can send me your questions in advance at at LinkedIn, at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. It's live on Tuesdays at noon Eastern. Uh, So... I'd love to have you there asking your questions live. Now, today's show is one where I answer a question, what should you do if your resume isn't generating any interviews? Hope you find this helpful. I hope this is not your circumstance. If it is, this show is for you. And I'm also going to remind you about JobSearch.community, where you can get access to all my video courses, books, and guides for one low price, and also have me answer questions from you quickly. And now, we'll be back in just one moment. What should you do if your resume is not generating any interview calls? When I coach people, I tell them, if your resume isn't getting you interviews, here's what's wrong. Excuse my language, your resume sucks. Your resume and LinkedIn profile are not congruent. Maybe you don't have the skills to do the jobs that you're applying for. Maybe your resume doesn't make the fit for how your background fits what the firm is looking for. Those are the basic things. So what can you do to generate more interview calls is tailor your resume to make the fit obvious to an interviewer or to a screener that your background fits the role. Otherwise, it's little more than spam.